How's it going guys? We're here at Adobe Max in Miami and it was just revealed that right now, Generative Extend in Premiere Pro Beta is available right now. Guys, I know we've all been in that place where we wished that we had extended the length of our shot just a little bit longer. Maybe it was just due to bad planning or maybe it was just due to the physical restrictions of the length of our actual arms. Well, as of just a moment ago, Adobe has now given us a solution in Generative Extend. I have shots here that I just shot at Max that we're actually going to take a look at and actually hopefully extend. I needed a longer handle on the front end of the shot, but I just couldn't keep that smooth lateral movement going without taking a step, causing a slight shake in the camera. Once you're in Premiere Pro Beta, just cut the clip back, click the new generative extend button, click the end of the clip, drag forward, and voila. I got this other shot of Justin Odisho running down the stairs. Everything was going perfectly until I, bam, bumped into heavy air. I shouldn't have been distracted, but it's all good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the clip back. Again, click on the generative extend button, click the end of the clip, drag forward, and beautiful. For the next shot, I have Javier Mercedes going outside to do a little bit of stretching. Everything seems to be going well until he gets bitten by a bee. Things didn't end so well. Again, all I did in Premiere Pro Beta though was I cut the clip back. I clicked on that generative extend button, dragged the clip forward again, and bam. This looks amazing. It's perfection. We got more stuff coming. If you are here at Max, comment below.